Covering Nassau County, where many services will be resuming as people there begin to get back to life after Dorian, Baptist Medical Center reopened its ER today at 3 p.m. The remainder of the hospital services will begin again at 7 a.m. tomorrow, and all county offices and courthouses will reopen tomorrow. If you find any damage or asked to call the Nassau County Emergency Management, you can see that number on your screen there. News for Jacks reporter Brittany Muller. She spent the day in Nassau County getting a first-hand look at the cleanup efforts there. She's joining us live from Fernandina Beach where efforts to remove sand have been happening all day. Brittany, you spoke with city leaders about those efforts. Yes, that's right. But first, I want to tell you the Emergency Operations Center says there's minimal damage here on Fernandina Beach. It says that only six homes were damaged on Amelia Island. That damage minimal. But crews spent the day out here. Take a look behind me. Removing this sand mounds, 60 truckloads worth, and they'll continue that work tomorrow. They kept the sand mounds here to protect the community and the beach for, from that potential storm surge that they were expecting but they never saw and that sand will be moved to its facility in Yuli. This video showing crews assessing American Beach in Amelia Island, where it found beach erosion. The video shared by the Nassau County Emergency Operations Center. Crews working to remove these mounds of sand that it put in place to reinforce the dunes along the beach. Had to bring all the sand in for preparation of the storm coming in to keep the surge from washing out all the oats. Byron Taylor says the sand mound saved the beach. Nassau County is removing 60 truck loads worth of sand. It's happening right behind me and they're bringing it to its facility in Yuli because it's not actually beach sand. They bought it from a vendor. I mean, we were surprised yeah. to see the, the berms put up. Yeah, I think um, they did more this year. I don't remember that with Irma or with Matthew. So I think they prepared more this year. Nancy and Edward Demchuk say they were worried about Hurricane Dorian, but once it was heading northeast, they decided to stay and stick out the storm. We saw a policeman come through our neighborhood uh, yesterday, was it? Yesterday. And, Just uh, to make sure everything was okay, no trees down or whatever. Yeah, I think so. they could do a good job. We also saw deputies and officers monitoring monitoring the roads, protecting the community while the storm was at its peak, scraping through Nassau County yesterday. The EOC also shared this video of pumps removing water after there was minor flooding on State Road 200 near the construction. And before Hurricane Dorian, the county gave more than 51,000 sandbags. And it says during its briefing today that if you have those sandbags and it's not contaminated with storm water, you can keep them in a safe place. But if they are contaminated with storm water, you have to get rid of that sand because it is hazardous. And the EOC also says that Nassau County schools will open tomorrow as well as the courthouse. Reporting live from Nassau County tonight, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station.